But are you a different animal and the same beast? Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We're starting off the new year with an absolute banger. Today, we finally have the performance review for these beauties right here, the Kobe 6 Grinch. And believe it or not, these are actually fake, just like your tits. Oh, what? As you probably already know, the resale on these is kind of ridiculous. They are approaching the $700 territory, which is a lot of money if you're poor. Hey, come on. So I got these off Taobao. And for those of you who don't know, Taobao is basically Wish, but uh, more gooder. I don't know. This is H12's latest batch, and uh, for this wear test, I did try and take my time with these. I really didn't want to rush it, because in the past, fakes and performance hasn't been too great. Oh yeah, I also feel like I just need to say, since these are fakes, I do not recommend trying this out at home. Alright, let's get into it. Starting things off with the traction. For this shoe, I did play mostly outdoor. So this review is kinda gonna be from an outdoor hooper's perspective. For the entire outsole, we have this nice organic honeycomb-like pattern. The traction was good and very consistent. I gotta say, the rubber compound is super soft. I couldn't feel any difference in the translucent part and the solid rubber. Pretty consistent throughout. A nice soft, tacky feel. Gave the shoe a decent amount of bite. It also has this aggressive outrigger, so when you're performing cuts with these, it feels super nice. The outdoor court where I play at was um, was usually pretty dusty, because it's been really windy lately where I live. The traction on these was amazing. Very little slippage, even in the dusty conditions. Really didn't have to wipe much. I don't think I, I actually don't think I wiped once. Like when you take a hard poo. On the Kobe 6, you have this massive contact patch. I don't know why they always try and sculpt the outsole nowadays. It usually just makes the traction less reliable. It's like, just, just give a nice contact patch, you'll be fine, you know? I also played on my driveway a bunch, which is a super rough surface, and the traction held up great, no fraying anywhere. So the durability on these should hold up nicely. My play style is pretty shifty, a lot of step backs, something to keep in mind when I'm, uh, when I'm talking about the traction here. The consistency was amazing on these. Was never slipping out, the traction was always there. All right, moving on to the cushion. Surprisingly good. The cushion is usually the thing that I'm most skeptical about, because uh, in the past, the cushion was the thing that suffered the most when you're dealing with fakes. From the product photos on Taobao, these have a pretty massive zoom turbo unit in the forefoot and a regular zoom unit in the heel. The zoom turbo in the forefoot is actually insane. They feel super bouncy. The way I play, I'm mostly on my forefoot, and you can really feel the zoom up there. As far as impact protection goes, don't know what foam they use, but it is nice. In the heel, it kind of has a little spring to it, more bouncy than soft. I played multiple three-hour sessions in these, and my, my knees were feeling good. The heel zoom unit was nice as well. I do play mostly on my forefoot, but the heel-to-toe transition, it's a nice smooth transition. And on the jumpers, or when you're coming down from layups, the impact protection is very nice. Definitely not a flimsy shoe. Sturdy. Especially with the carbon fiber shank plate. Gives the outsole nice structure. Next up, we have the upper. There wasn't any separation of the different glue points, and all the threads are still tight. No fraying anywhere, just the usual creasing you get with normal wear. The fit for these is true to size, nice one-to-one -one fit. Out of the box, these were laced one eyelet down, and I was having a little bit of heel slippage. So make sure to lace through the very top eyelets, then the lockdown is very good. Also, I do like to crank down my laces, not to the point where it's suffocating, but I like them, I like them pretty tight. These do have fly wire underneath the snake scales. Not sure if they really do that much, but when you crank these down, you're definitely not going anywhere. Your foot is uh, your foot is locked in. Didn't really feel any slippage on the footbed when I was doing uh, when I was moving around. I do have a little bit of a wide foot, but they didn't feel suffocating or anything. It felt like the more I played in these, they kind of formed to my foot a little bit more. Yeah, overall, very impressed with these. Kind of insane, and they look so good. That is my performance review on the Kobe Six Grinch. Also, yeah, sorry I haven't been posting much. There hasn't really been too many dope sneaker drops. Let me know if you guys want to see other types of content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Today we finally have the Today we